Hey everyone, Doubly here, back for part 27 of our Final Fantasy VII Rebirth playthrough. Uh, in the last part, we went around the other half of the Golden Saucer and played a bunch of mini games uh, over there. And when we were done, the Sky Wheel just opened up. But, just like in the OG, a man with a gun grafted to his arm attacked. Uh, staff members and some Shinra security officers in the Coliseum. So uh, Cloud and the rest of the party, Sans Barrett, went to check in on that. And Dio was actually there uh, and offered Cloud a deal to find whoever did this because everyone, everyone was like, Barrett, Barrett wouldn't do this. He would put on a show. You know, he wouldn't destroy the cameras. Uh, <laughs> and yeah, judging from what it was like at the number five reactor that's very true so uh, he would definitely make a statement out of it um, so yeah Dio uh, made a deal with Cloud and the party telling them to find who actually did it within 24 hours uh, and sent them down to Corral prison or the dust bowl but before Cloud and the rest of the gang could do anything they got knocked out and are now in the f hands of Gus, who runs Coral Prison. Uh, he was the guy in the green suit in the OG, and he still has the green suit now. Uh, but Gus actually locked everyone up, except for Cloud, and now Cloud has to race. So, um, we are trying to get the Chocobo we're racing on, some greens, to feed it. And it's Pico. Uh, Billy's here too, actually, surprisingly. <laughs> uh, Gus's gang Don't kind of either jumped Billy or kidnapped Billy or rescued Billy. Uh, I believe Billy in how things went down, but you know, who knows really. Anyway, gotta play this minigame. What? Yes. <laughs> 
think we reached 30. Yeah. Darn. That's Great all right. Job out there. Got some greens for you, as promised. Oh man, we need to get 42,000 for the gloves. Okay. Yeesh. I should have paid more attention. to destroy this one as well. Ridiculous. Oh my gosh, it was right there. One more. Oh god. Oh my gosh.
Dang. I don't know if that was nice enough. One. That was pretty good. Because there were two fifteen hundred boxes up there. Anyway. Never going there again, so. Let's go straight for this. Not activated. Where are the activated? There they are. go down again? Here. Then we go down this way. Are you kidding me? There we go. Oh. There we go, up again. Oh god. Go this way. This is really just a knowledge check, isn't it? Nice, okay, yeah. As long as you know where everything is, this isn't that bad. That was incredible! Took me by surprise! Nice. Got Aww, Tifa's gloves. Not interested. I 
I suppose the produce here ain't all bad. I mean, compared to the stuff folks are growing out in the grasslands, it's downright dire. But hey, I ain't picky. What else we got? It's over here. Uh, of course. Chadley, what are you doing down here, bro? <laughs> Good lord. This mean we get dibs on your pals? Right. How did I do? He did Talk a great like job. Known to elicit a common effect, so I should be safe. Unfortunately, we can't share the same for bear. I'm confident of his innocence, though, and I will do everything in my power to help prove it. Thanks, Chadley. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> All right. To say, many hazards await you on the road, so take care. It's dangerous here, so he dressed up as the most dangerous creature of all. Billy, please don't teleport like that. <laughs> that freaked me out. Looking for a place to Oh. Nope, not interested. No need to say a word. I already know your story. You're on the hunt for chocobo greens, am I right? Well, I'd be willing to scratch your back, provided you'd be willing to scratch mine. What have you got My for me, man? My happens to be plagued by a gaggle of rather eccentric Queen's Blood players. I'd love it if someone could take them down a notch or two. So, think you're up to the task? I'll handle it. Much obliged. Outlandish though they are, they play a mean game. So mean that it's scaring away my clientele. Well, we can't have that. I need someone to get out there and prove they can be beaten. Got three troublemakers in total. Still looking for action, no doubt. Thanks in advance. Before you go, though, you should take a look at the cards I have for sale. I guarantee they'll come in handy. All right. Thought he would have more than this, but you know what? Can't complain. <laughs> hey, how about that? Yes. All right, got the Magnata books. The heck is max volume? I'm assuming it's just a weapon store or item shop. Max volume and dead silent. <laughs> Oh. Get your ass out of here. My bad. Need something. See ya. Wait a minute, can I just never? Oh god. We're just banned. I told you. Be quiet or beat it. Well Now what? Now what are you gonna do? Huh? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? <laughs> Alright, I'm done. Oh well, I guess we're locked out. Checking out the weapon shop. That sucks. What's going on over here? Greetings, friends, and welcome to my swindling seminar. Today, for the very first time, I'll be unveiling the art. 
What the? Oh, there's that weird well. Excellent timing. I'm conducting a seminar and would appreciate your help. And as thanks for your assistance, rest assured you will be handsomely rewarded. All you need to do is speak with my lovely pupils here. Four of these folks are lying while one and only one is telling the truth. Your oh, good. job is to find the odd one out. Ah, there's also a small fee to participate, but I'm sure you won't mind. All right. Conniving Caglio is holding a seminar instilling five aspiring swindlers with the tricks of his deceitful trade. Mission is to discern which one of his disciples is telling the truth. Each guest will cost 500 gills, no refunds, so choose wisely. Investigate his pupil's potential lies by visiting notable locations around the Dust Bowl. Review your, review your notes at any time with left and press L1 to take a closer look. Okay. What exactly am I doing? <laughs> Great. Um. Not really sure about the layout here, cause. It's okay, so this is the divider. This is the divider. Probably one is something to do with that. And then, gosh. Two, three, four, and five are blocked off by the freaking numbers. So one is here, two is something there, three is something there, four is something here, five is something there. Or here. Or something. Sure. All right. This place ain't. Welcome to society. Hate to break it to you, but all got a lot for blood. Then you come to the right place. Oh, good. In the ring, it's man versus monster. Welcome to Beast Battleground. So, you looking for a thrill you won't find anywhere up top? Defeat a few fiends and there could be some fresh new greens in it for ya. <laughs> Alright. Hold on. We're here if you got a hankering for blood. Let's actually put... Uh... Cloud's new thingamajig. Prime mode. We're doing it. Strange choice of background Let's music. <laughs> That's a fun little remix on the battle or victory theme. Also, I don't think I quite understand how the overhead swings work. That's oh, this weirdo. Yeah. 
That's not good. How'd it get me from all the way up there? Okay, so after you no time to hit celebrate. prime mode, you hit the attack button. I guess it's better to have that on the shortcut for square then? I don't know. What are we facing in this last round? Oh, good. What are you? Test zero. I got you now. Weak to fire, subject that managed to escape from Shinra's R&D division. It has since acquired the faculty of speech. What? However, stilted by mindlessly parroting all that it hears. When its HP is low, it'll play dead while in the state of attacking it along with blocking or evading its subsequent counter strikes. We'll pressure it. Okay. Easy. <laughs> Was never in doubt. The little things it was shouting out, though. <laughs> that high squeaky voice of his. That's kind of funny. Look at you go. Be sure to check out some of our other contests, too, if you're in the market for a little danger. <laughs> Danger. I'll take a care of your bones. If there's any left. Hmm. Supposed to be something we should notice down here. I'm assuming. Maybe we should have talked to the swindlers before we, you know, tried anything. Yeah. If you're around the prison, if they tell them 
need to get their bird's sand baths to get them clean. I wonder if it's any better for him than a standard brush down. Maybe I'll give it a try with Pico. Hey, you ever heard of a place called Bail Jumper? Yeah, the finest booze around, pure as the driven snow. Not watered down one bit. Uh huh. The weapon store owner's got a few screws loose, if you ask me. I mean, what's he doing selling potions of all things? Oh, I. <laughs> You need to get yourself over to the local bookstore to nab a copy of Gus's autobiography, Meditations on the Outlaw Life. It's a must read, trust me. You checked out the graffiti at Gus's place? He's got a Del Sol cactuar in there. See if you can find it. Oh my God. You should test your might in the beast battleground. They've got a rare monster named Bug Zero. Uh-huh, so that one's a lie. That one's probably a lie. That one's probably a lie. Oh, man. Okay, that's another exit, I'm assuming. Oh, no, this is where we came in. Gotcha. Where we came in and get got wrecked. <laughs> Welcome to Bale Jumper, watering hole for the dregs of the Dust Bowl. Heard you're in the market for some greens. Maybe. If so, I've got a garden up on the cliff. Everything's yours for the taking. What? Assuming there's anything to take. Tended to in the majors. Here, go see for yourself. That's it? Be sure to keep an eye out for fiends, though. Oh. The place is crawling. Of me. course. <laughs> <sighs> you seem like a guy who can hold his liquor. That's our house specialty. Call it sunshine. We take moonshine and water it down so the flavor is just still perceptible. <laughs> okay, that's pretty funny. <laughs> Interesting that there's a notice board here. Are you okay? It's a sight to behold. It'll be fun. Mm -hmm. Oh, where have you been, handsome? I take it you're here to join me for a drink. Well, aren't you the sweetest little thing? Ugh, you big party pooper. Fine, be that way. Guess we'll play Queen's Blood instead. <laughs> oh no. Don't even try to wiggle out of it. Because I'm Mary, darling dear. And when I've knocked a few back, nobody slips through my fingers. So, either you take a drink, or we play a game. Your choice. I mean... I don't think we have a choice here, do we? Hold on. Something I have is running out of batteries, and I there we go. Sick. Okay. You now own a replacement card, which can only be placed on top of an ally card already on the board, effectively replacing them. They have two major benefits: they don't require a rank to be placed. They can trigger cards whose abilities only activate when destroyed. Some even have abilities that absorb the destroyed card's power. Replacement cards are strong enough to turn the tide of battle infused correctly, so think long and hard about when and where you'll play them. Oh. When did we get replacement cards? Is it from the pack that we bought?
When played, raise the power of allied and enemies' cards on affected tiles by one. Interesting. When played, lower the power of allied and enemy cards on affected tiles by one. Raises power by two for each enfeebled enemy card. Okay. Oh. What? Okay. <laughs> Enemy cards are destroyed. Raises cards power by two. Hmm. Destroy an allied card and replace it. Oh, I see. Yeah, you know what? Let's grab this. And what should we replace him instead of it? Maybe well, let's get rid of him and Want to mulligan. This seems like a good set. Although. is happening. Oh, that shows us what, okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Ooh, that's not good. Too bad. Enemies' cards are destroyed. Raise this card's power by one. Well, Interesting. Shit. You got the good hot stuff. Should have had more to drink. I have a confession. You see, my dear, even though it's my sure fire ticket to victory, I've kind of been cutting back on the boobs. Do you want to know why? 
A while back, I drank way too much, blacked out in the middle of a match, and had an awful nightmare. I dreamed this creepy stranger was trying to chat me up, which is why this match totally doesn't count. Uh -huh. I'm still off my game. Next time, you better bet I'm gonna be sauce to the max. So watch out, boyo. <laughs> Lady, you have like... I don't know how many. Congratulations, Cloud. You have attained the rank of Blood Knight. And I have obtained intel on a new opponent for you. There oh. is a somewhat mysterious player by the name of Novalon in North Corel. Having proven yourself as a knight, I believe you can defeat this formidable foe. Uh, okay. What? North Corral? Uh, okay. Well, feel free to look as long as you want. Oh, his name's Pietro, of course. What do you want? me Dax a weird card no abilities a strange formation too all right this card interests me I'm starting to feel like I kind of want to play like a destruction deck. <laughs> Although I don't know if my brain is still big enough for that, so maybe not. What does the hanged man do again? Where's that weirdo? Right. Hmm. It's quite powerful, but can't gain any ground with it, which is always kind of not the most ideal, I would say. Um, oh yeah, let's do this. expecting that.
Dang. I think I lose. That was pretty bad. Definitely mulligan these. There we go. <laughs> that would be the more fun that I've imagined. I've been missing out. Clinton ain't a great place to let your car down, you know. So I got into the habit of acting tough and yelling at anyone who looked at me funny. Kept me safe, but it also made good, decent people like you avoid me altogether. Even though I just wanted to play cards. I got so frustrated that no one would give me the time of day that I started to respect the gutsy bastard. <laughs> but I've got to change myself first if I want people to talk to me. Because you had the courage to approach me when no one else did. I know that now. So I'm going to do it like you and ask people to play instead of waiting for them to come to me. Aww. That's the spirit. Alright, Pietro. May I help you? I'm in the middle of a performance. Are you here to play Queen's Blood? That's going to be tricky. I'm a living statue, you see. I'm not supposed to move under any circumstances. <sighs> well, I guess I could move my arms at least. <laughs> You're going to regret making me come to life. I don't know, man. We'll see. Joker. Oh, that's a uh, that's an enemy. When allied and enemy cards are destroyed, raises cards power by one. Okay.
Interesting. Right. Ah, there's no point. We win. <laughs> I was gonna do some stupid, stupid stuff, but we win, so... <laughs> what a resounding sweep that was. You completely demolished me. Well played, good sir. But my performance wasn't half bad. Wouldn't you agree? Someday... I hope to join the Gold Saucer's grand stable of performers. That's why I'm trying to hone my skills by purposely putting myself in the harshest of environments. But my winning streak was starting to draw negative attention, so maybe losing was for the best. I'll be here for a while yet. If you would like to play another game, just let me know. I don't know, man. That was... A resounding sweep. <laughs> Pay attention. Remember their faces. Right. Hey, these folks want to piss away. What's going on over here? Um, is this the way to the garden? Yeah. Scan these guys, I think we did. Should probably heal ourselves. <laughs> going. Oh. Ugh. Notice the grappling prompt way too late. <laughs> Not fair. Hang on a second. Yeah, I know we should get the greens, but side paths. Oh, God. We do this fast. Do we even have a... Oh. We 
don't. Shoot. see anything. <laughs> That wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be, all things considered. Oh, cut that! What? the noise it makes when it runs away. Thank goodness for those HP materials and the max HP plus 200 that I got. <laughs> oh. Just giving me all sorts of leeway. We won't hold back. do we have here? Poison. Why does it sound like that? <laughs> Why do you sound like that? Another HP up material. Wow. Just hand it. Oh, come on. There you go. Oh boy. Going on a wild goose chase just for this green. Oh. 
Interesting. Botanical fiends of the succulent variety, mainly found in arid regions. Almost faster than the eye can see. These silly-faced speed, silly-faced speedsters fit about the sand, flit about the sands, leaving only a flash of green in their wake. Hitting them with physical A to B commands will pressure them, though typically too fast to strike. They'll be susceptible to attacks when pressured or while using abilities of their own. Gotcha. Ow. Oh. That was quick. I mean, I guess they don't have that much HP because they're cactuars, but I thought that was going to be a lot harder than it seemed. Um, just making sure we're not missing anything. What does this take us? here okay uh uh okay oh 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 god oh god cloud Cloud, cloud. Okay. Make a peep and you're gone. That's a promise. Oh. That was that was difficult. You sell the elixirs? Bizarre. He's only got one in stock, might as well buy it. Don't skip on gear. Okay, thanks. See you later. <laughs> What did this guy say? Hey, you ever heard of a place called Bail Jumper? Yeah, the Okay, so that's a lie. Around, the well, do you think you can The truth is out there as they say. I encourage you. The weapon store owner's got a few screws loose if you ask me. I mean, what's Have you read Gus's autobiography? Med you need to get yourself over to the local bookstore oh and have a copy of Gus's autobiography. Yeah. Um, where is the bookstore? Welcome to my humble establishment. Please, my store will always be open to you. Oh, you have an eye for fine literature. That's the first volume of Solemn Gus's best-selling autobiography, Meditations on the Outlaw Life. It's the tale of a lonely little boy who dreamed of running his very own prison. Like the tagline says, there's a bit of Gus in all of us. You'd be a fool to miss this chance to partake of Gus's wisdom. By the time you've read to the end, you'll see the world in a whole new light. What kind of boy dreams of running a prison? <laughs> anyway. I'd love to check out the shops at Um, you should test your might in the beast battleground. So that's a lie. They got a rare monster. You checked out the graffiti at Gus's place. Have you read Gus's autobiography, Meditations on the Outlaw Light? You need to get yourself over to the local bookstore to nab a copy of Gus's autobiography, <laughs> Meditation. Well, do you think? 
sure. Have you read Gus's autobiography, Meditations on... Congratulations. Their deception was no match for your powers of perception. Beware, my aspiring swindlers. Clever ones like this are harder to fool. But so long as you continue to train and apply yourselves, I can teach you to swindle even the toughest marks. Yes, yes sir. sir! As for you, rest assured that I am a man of my word. Those you know, that wasn't as hard as I thought it was going like to be. This. Quite the handsome reward, wouldn't you say? I thought we were going to have to, like... Ideally, it'd get Pico an edge and be pleasing to the eye. Our boy's one handsome bird, you know. We want equipment that'll accentuate his features. You know, you got a point there. But I was going to say, I thought that spotting the lie or the truth would be a lot harder than that, but... Guess not. Back. Let's go somewhere more quiet. Okay. <laughs> I don't know, fifteen hundred gills is pretty interesting to me. Do, do they think they're going to jump here us? We are. <laughs> or are you going to shoot some hoops? Now we can have a nice private talk without anyone button in. <laughs> <laughs> it's time you got a lesson in the way things work around here. Don't worry, you can thank us uh -oh. later. <laughs> yeah! Good. Don't like our rules. No I got you know what? <laughs> I forgot if I was still injured from the whole cactus fight. This is overkill, but... <laughs> You, you guys attacked before I could say anything. <laughs> it was a real learning experience. Wasn't it, boys? <laughs> oh, great. Right. We got something special for you. A gift to remember us by. Here. And with that, we'll hurry up and get out of your hair. Right, boys? Yeah. Oh. Very sorry to have troubled you. But we won't do it again. I promise! <laughs> Okay, whatever. <laughs> A bunch of weirdos. Anyway. You better take home that trophy, you hear? Today's victory will be our stepping stone to the big one, the Gold Cup. I know Pico's ready to win it all, but are you? All right, what else do we have left? Just this, right? I completely forgot Snaps was here. Bro, what the heck? <laughs> well, hello. Good to see you again. How about a photo to commemorate our reunion?
Some thugs literally ran me out of town. Made for great action shots. Hopefully, folks can feel their grittiness. Oh my I've God. already got solid pictures of the prison, so let me know if you find any other good backdrops. There's something beautiful about these savage designs. Uh -huh. Cutting edge. <laughs> Revolutionary even. Gives you Uh, where is the card collector? And, this is why and there's the man of the hour. Thanks to your efforts. Demand for Queen's blood is back and stronger than ever. It's at an all-time high. Which means my profits should be too. You did me a great favor. Take this as a token of my thanks. Before you go, though, I have some cards I'd highly recommend for a player as skilled as yourself. You won't want to miss out. Bruh. I, 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 okay. I have everything. <laughs> People lose interest when they start thinking they can't win. That's why it's important to shake things up once in a while. By the way, don't breathe a word about this to the folks upstairs. Unless you want to find yourself behind bars again. Uh-huh. People get sluggish if you eat too much. Let's check it with us. All right. All hands of God. King of God. Don't let me catch you. Hey, no loitering. How come y'all get to eat veggies? All right. Let's see what you found. Let's feed our little boy Pico. I still can't believe he's wearing our gear that we put on him. <laughs> start, but nowhere near enough. Aw. Yeah, he's looking a lot better now. But we could get him in great shape with a touch more. Hey, aren't Silcus Greens like the best greens in OG? Oh, Pico's right as rain and fit to hit the track whenever you are. When you're ready to head up to the stadium, just speak to your babysitter over there. <laughs> oh, before you go, if you happen to have any more greens, consider trading them in for racing gear. Vegetables are hard to come by down here, so I'd be happy to buy yours. Are you serious? Ooh, looks like you brought the good stuff. Oh, wow. You scrounge up more veggies, you know where to find me. Okay. So, what kind of gear are you in the market for? Sure. Thanks, well, Esther. That's all I got. Now go and kick the tar out of those other jockeys. You got it. Pico's as ready as he'll ever be. If you can't win, you got no one to blame but yourself. Well, that's reassuring. <laughs> all right, Pico. I'm gonna get you out of that. Get you in this. Rad key stuff. Man, that is scary. <laughs> Do these actually have like stats to them, I wonder? Well, I guess we'll find out. You ready or what? Let's do it. Let's get this show on the road. Come with me. Actually, on second thought, I'll take him up top. That work for you? Works for me. Say what? <laughs> Fine. You want to go roll in the hay with this idiot? Go wild. And on that note, follow me. It's hard to believe this is the same Pico that nearly died in the desert. 
You should have seen him that first day, the poor boy. More dirt than Chocobo. Couldn't so much as give us a quail without coughing up sand. Aww. He's a whole new bird now, though. Might even have what it takes to win. Question is, do you? Even the fastest Chocobos can't win Jack without the right jockey. I've seen my fair share of promising birds wasted on riders who didn't know their asses from a hole in the ground. Believe me, in the racing world, it's all about who's holding the reins. No pressure, though. Okay, on you go. Shoot for the stars. <laughs> I wonder if this is gonna be like similar to the to the uh, the bike mini game in terms of controls. Competing in the race today? Yep. We'll get there it is. For you. Just sit tight in the jockey lounge and no wandering off, okay? Yeah. It's so funny because, um. Actually, I don't know if it was like a fully orchestrated soundtrack, but if it was a MIDI, then it, the MIDI for this theme it definitely sounds like a string should be playing uh, the track. So, this is entirely. This is great that they got a violin in here. Lovelier by the day. <laughs> uh huh. Sure I do. Oh, where are my manners? This here's Joe. He's one of Sam's jockeys. <laughs> and as much as it pains me to admit it, the man's far and away the best rider in the sport. What of Sam's, huh? To make your acquaintance. This is Cloud, an up-and-coming star of the track, and all ours. Be sure to wave hi when he laps you. Well, sounds like you got a fan, son. I wonder, though, you win her over with your skills or with one of them smoldering looks? <laughs> Don't see why it can't be both. About time I had some competition, assuming Esther's not full of it. For both Don't be too six, jealous, Joe. I hope she isn't. <laughs> Forget him. The race is starting soon, so stay focused. Speaking of, you might want to consider practicing. The sim here can help with that. Okay. That's very handy. Is there a summon materia in here? <laughs> Your first race ever, and it's with Joe. Yeah, talk about luck. Or we could team up, take Joe down a peg. Not gonna do a few laps for practice? Oh no, definitely going to. I will beat Joe. I will be famous. I will beat Joe. <laughs> Alright, dude. Got anything to say, lady? I'm just brushing up on my bird calls before the race. What? <laughs> uh, if you want to brush up on your jockey skills, you can practice on the racing sim. Even if you have never raced a day in your life, completing The Sims' various tutorial objectives will ensure that you're ready to compete. Okay, left stick with to steer, X to speed up, circle to slow down or back up, and left stick plus R2 to drift. Is this like actual drift? I hope so. Press X right when the countdown hits 2 to begin the race with an explosive start. Gotcha. So it's like Mario Kart? I mean, they did make a Chocobo racing game, so I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> uh, the more of these blue balloons you collect, the faster your Chocobo will run. Each balloon raises the bird's speed level by 1 for a maximum of 10. Note that when you run into obstacles or collide with other Chocobos, your speed will decrease. Gotcha.
These red balloons will fill your ability gauge. Press L1 to activate your ability. Each chocobo has their own unique abilities. Gotcha. Uh, yellow balloons will add to your dash gauge as long as you have at least one dash charge. Press R1 for a short burst of speed. You can only suck as many charges as there are in your dash gauge though. Okay. First again. Oh, speed burst is the chocobo's ability, right? Shall happen under 30 seconds, okay. somehow think this is not going to be enough practice for me. <laughs> Hyperion is Joe's bird, and it's a fast and rugged son of a bitch. Things bred to win. Will begin shortly. All participating jockeys, please proceed to the paddock. You good to go? I mean, I'm as ready as I'll ever be. Oh boy. Each bird is unique, but they all possess the following attributes, speed, acceleration, weight, cornering, strength, and intelligence. Depending on the distrib distribution of these attributes, a bird can be faster or easier to handle. For a more in-depth breakdown, speed and acceleration will obviously make chocobos run faster. More weight will make them fly shorter distances, but it'll be harder to knock around. Cornering helps the chocobo turn better, strength keeps, keeps them from slipping around, and intelligence affects the potency of their chocobo ability. They can wear different gear on three different parts. Each piece has its own set of attributes that can augment your chocobos. In addition, gear comes with a unique skill that activates automatically when you meet, it, meet its conditions. You can save up to four sets of gear, three racing sets, and one world set, which is the gear your bird will wear while it shuttles you around the world. Okay. Comeback Kid dramatically increases all attributes if placed 7th or lower heading into the final lap. What? Weird. Increases weight. Uh, increases speed for a few seconds after being passed. Oh god, no. 
Uh, increases acceleration. Increases speed. Lessens how much you slow down when damaged. Increases efficacy of items picked up. It's not bad. Increases dash charges by one. That's not bad either. Let's go with this. Start races with one dash of reality available. Increases the effect of dash panels. Let's do that. It's a scary, scary bird on a tropical <laughs> vacation. <laughs> oh boy. We can do this. Look at all the pieces of gear, different pieces of gear these chocobos have. Here's a secret. I survived that recent shooting. <sighs> you're not talking about the Colosseum, are you? Oh my god, Palmer. Yes, I was there. Or I would have been had I not gone to the bathroom just before. That's amazing. <gasps> you're so lucky. <laughs> Aren't I just? <laughs> Which is why I know my bird's a winner. <laughs> What a scrumptious looking parfait. And with plenty of butterscotch, I see. Bottoms up. Ooh. <laughs> butterscotch, of course. Of course. <laughs> Root's just like, how did I get yeah, on this I detail? Oh, I'm fine, thanks. Do you know how hot it is out here? I'm melting. God. What asshole decided our uniforms had to be black? I'll be there as soon as I can. You freaking better. And bring something cold to drink. Or better yet, ice cream. Is vanilla No, okay? vanilla. Seriously, I'm gonna keep stroke over here. I'm gonna die. <laughs> you want that? Do ya? Oh, poor Rude. Wish you were here, partner. Aww. That line does carry a bit of a different connotation if you know that. Well, we know Javanese VA passed away, so yeah. I forgot to do the whole press X at 2 thing. <laughs> Oh, I missed it. Dang. Oh, wow. I flew right through the dash charges. Are you kidding me? Got it.
Who's in first? Is it Joe? Of course it is. Joe, huh? I've got the skills and the looks. I knew I backed a winner. You're the real deal, kiddo. I just provided the encouragement. And thanks to you, my prison's gonna be a goddamn palace. Alright, we'll cool. see about that. <laughs> Ooh, so frosty. But here in the desert, we like it hot. Fiery, dangerous. <laughs> yeah, I'll bet. Now, where's our guy? Easy, Snowflake. Solemn Gus is a man of his word. Are you scared I'll break my promise? Okay. That tunnel over there will take you where you need to go. Past all that quicksand like a slippery little sidewinder. And at the other end, one of my beautiful vultures will be waiting to guide you through the desert. So be a good tourist. We got old Shooty McShooterson tied up nice and tight in a shack out in the scrapyard. Is he talking about but now Barrett? It's all yours. Turn him over. Give him his just desserts. It's your call to make. He's probably talking about Barrett. Do we have anything else to do out here? I don't think so. We pretty much cleared it all out, right? Hey, shouldn't you be somewhere doing something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> do you have to move like that? Don't suppose you're in the market for a charming young racing consultant. I am, in fact. Um Let's just check the notice board. There's probably nothing. Yeah. Okay, usually there's like a pop-up saying that quests are available now. Okay. Well then. You guys moving on then? And what are you gonna do? Since you put Pico's name on the map, we'll stick around for a bit. Try and get a winning streak going. Besides. We still got a score to settle. Sure you'll be okay on your own? No man with a bird is ever truly alone. <laughs> hey, Cloud. I know you need to hit the road, but if you're ever itching to get back in the saddle, come around. Pico will be here. No, you got it, bud. Victory lap. Well, with that, I think we'll call it here. Thanks for coming along, and I'll see you all in the next part. Bye.